I'm not sure who this message is for, but God placed this message on my heart. Whoever you are that clicked on this video, I pray that you stand to the end of this video because I want you to get everything I'm about to share with you. So let me be honest with you all. I remember uh, specifically back at elementary school, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade, I was what you called a tattletale. In other words, if I was talking a little too much and you know the teacher decided to move me to a new location or move me to another row or move me to another desk and I ended up <laughs> and I ended up having to sit by you, you was in trouble. Let me tell you why. See, I was a tattletale. I told on everything. Like I couldn't hold water. Like if I seen you digging in your backpack and you was, you know, eating a few chips or something, hand up. You know, Hey, I'm, I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell on you. You're going to lose your recess. You're going to get in trouble. And it's elementary, so you're probably going to cry. Like, it was something about me. I had to tell on everything. I didn't care if you was my best friend or not. For some reason, that didn't even register in my mind. All I wanted to do <laughs> was tell on everything. All right? Especially, let me be real. Especially if you had a substitute teacher, oh, you were in trouble. Because, look, here's what happened. A substitute was going to come in there. They was going to call the role and everything. If they mispronounce somebody's name, I'm going to be right there. No, 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 no. His name, Billy. No, not Billy. Billy. All right, cool. <laughs> I was that guy. And if you did something wrong while the substitute was there, it's all good. I got you. Wait till the teacher get back. <laughs> when the teacher get, as soon as the teacher walk in the door the next day, Hey, uh, you you know he he was throwing a crayon. You know what I'm saying? And, and to be real with you, I was kind of cool with the teacher. You know what I'm saying? Teacher cut me a little slack because they knew I was a tattletale. I was gonna look. I was gonna I was gonna tell on everything. You know what I'm saying? And then I started losing a lot of friends at elementary school, and I ain't understand why. I mean, you know, now I do. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> then I get older and here I am right now and I'm looking around like, you know what? I'm still that same kid. You know what I'm saying? See, see, it just shift gears. See, I'm, a, I'm still a tattletale. I'm a tattletale for God. You understand? Like I'm a tell on the goodness of God. When God placed something on my heart, if God, if God is showing me something, I'm going to tell everybody about it. Why is that? Because I, don't, I just can't keep it to myself. The Bible says it's like fire shut up in my bones. So I got to talk about it because see, it's the good news. Listen, the gospel is the good news. In other words, if that person over there bakes a cookie and that and I bite into it and that cookie is good, I'm not going to sit there and be like, it's all right. No, I'm going to be like, man, this cookie is good. You know what? Can I have about 10 more? And as a matter of fact, I don't care. I don't care if they buy one, get one half off. Like, look, here's, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to buy everything. Why? Because they're just that good. And I'm going to tell everybody about them. And if it's really good, if you're my friend, I'm going to probably give you one for free. I'm not worried about you paying me for them. You're my friend. These are good. Taste and see that what? That the Lord is good. So I'm going to give them away. Listen, the gospel is the good news. If it's good to you, you're going to tell somebody about it. Many people, and, I'm, and, I, and I just want to tell you the truth. I got to tell you the truth. Many people, they sit back and they say, well, I, you know, I don't know how to talk to people about the Lord. And that's understandable because I was like that at one point in time. But, you know, prayerfully, you know, my goal is, is I want to be able to help you with that, you know. But, you know, here's the thing. We all are telling somebody about something. Some people, man, look, when it, hey, NFL, when it's football season, you a Green Bay Packers fan, you a New Orleans Saints fan, whatever, you you got the gear, you got the hat, your hat on backwards, you got the, let them score a touchdown and you be at the stadium. I feel bad for whoever's sitting next to you. You gonna be in that ear talking about, yeah! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, <laughs> That's good news. Your team won. You're going to let everybody know. You're going to put it on Facebook and you're probably going to take a selfie at the stadium. 
showing all the people in the back. You don't you, you don't care who come against you, what other football team or basketball team is going to come in and say, no, y'all you know, not going to make the playoff. You're going to go back and forth with them. You're going to say, nah, no, no, we beat y'all last year. We, you know what I'm saying? We, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, you know how it is. Listen, everybody has something that's good news according to them. So you're talking about something. You're advertising something. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me show you my shoe. Man, I'm, I'm trying to tell you God is so good, man. See, I used to be scared to talk about stuff. I, I used to feel like, you know, I, I was silly or something. But I learned to just go with God. Like right now with God placed it on my heart, I'm about to show you this shoe. I don't want to show you the name brand. I ain't, I ain't trying to promote no shoe. But man, look, this a brand new shoe. Hey, these the most comfortable shoes I ever wore in my life. My wife introduced me to these shoes. Before that, I, I never heard nothing about it. And listen, anybody I see, you know, that, you know, that work out or, or, or they, they run or whatever, the very first thing I mentioned to, hey, you ever heard, hey, you, you, you got a pair of these? Man, it feel like I'm walking on the cloud, man. You ought to try something. I became, you know, a representative of this shoe. I don't make no money off of it, but it's good news according to me because I've been walking in some beat up Nikes for years, for years and nobody told, ain't nobody tell me nothing. I thought they were comfortable. Let me put my shoe back on. I got the AC vent blowing on the bottom, man. My foot freezing. Hold on. Hey, I, uh, what was I about to say? I don't know. But see, I'm trying to tell you, man, everybody is sharing something. You understand? So I'm here today to tell you, you got to be unapologetic about what's good to you. Some do, some don't, some will and some won't. Some people going to look at me and say, nah, I'm good. Them shoes look ugly. And I got to be okay with that. Because what's good news for you is not good news for everybody. Some people were rejected. Guess what? They rejected Jesus. What make you think they're going to roll out the red carpet for you and everybody just going to get out your way and clap you? And, no, listen, we don't do it for human approval. The only approval you need is from God. And guess what? One day you'll be face to face with him. And you know what you want to hear? Well done, my good and faithful servant. Because I'm got i going to be real with you. We, you know, we ain't gonna get no reward for for being a certain kind of basketball fan. Look, hey, I got favorite basketball, football, with a, and and you know what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, all that stuff is sinking sand. None of this stuff matter. The type of truck I'm in, the camera I'm using, this shirt, you know what I'm saying. Whoever, whatever company did, I don't know. As a matter of fact. If anything ever happened to me, you can have this shirt. You, I mean, you can, whatever you want, you can have it. Because cause guess what? I'm going to be with Jesus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All this stuff, this worldly stuff. Listen, I'm going to be real with you. You enter this world, what you got? Nothing. And guess how you leave this world? With nothing. You understand? you just here on an assignment for a temporary amount of time. So you better get serious about your life and why you're here. Because life is so short. One day you're going to be with Jesus. Don't spend your whole life worrying about all these material things. You understand? You need to get serious about Jesus. You need to be a tattletale for him. Because we on a kingdom assignment, kingdom agenda. We trying to fill up heaven. People we walk past all day long, man. These people deep down, a lot of them haven't heard the news about Jesus Christ. You can't just assume when you in the store, you like, oh, he look like he know about the law. No, go make sure. Say, hey, man, how you doing today? And they're going to look at you and they're going to be like, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> then, you know what I'm saying? That'll open the door for you. Now, you say, hey, man, I'm good. Hey, you, have, you, you mind if I share a scripture with you? Let me tell you something. When you share the word with them, it's cool if they don't want it. It's cool if they say, nah, I'm good. You say, man, God bless you. You have a great day. But later on that night, <laughs> hey, they're going to go get in the word for themselves. They're going to say, let me look up that scripture that young man was talking about. This, this this little silly dude walked up to me talking about something. This, uh, I wasn't trying to hear all that, man. Nobody got time for all that. But see, you drew them closer. <laughs> you know, in other words, they was way out there. Now they're just a little bit closer. See, God is working on the soil of their heart. You don't pull them a little closer. Then before you know it, they looking around like, 
Let me see this Bible. Let me see what's up. Let me get up in here. And look, this that scripture. You're going to read it. You're going to read it. You're first Peter chapter two, verse nine. You know what I'm saying? Tattletale. You a tattletale, man. It says, but you are not like that for you are a chosen people. We, man, we chosen. You are a royal priest, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for he has called you out of the darkness into the wonderful light. Another translation say the marvelous light. See, God called me out of the darkness. And I ain't just talking about no regular, I mean, no regular darkness. I'm talking about some pitch black darkness. So dark out there, you can't even take two steps without bumping your head into something. <laughs> I, I promise you I'm telling you the truth And guess what Now that Look he called me into the light Man I see things clear Now nah. Hey I love you so much If you made it to the end of this video I need you to comment the words I am a tattletale for Jesus Once again I need you to write the words I am a tattletale for Jesus That lets me know you a real one And you made it all the way to the end of this video Listen I love you so much I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Hit the like button if you appreciate these videos. Subscribe to the channel. New videos every single day, 6 o'clock a.m. Central Time. I love you so much, and I will see you on the very next video.